All right, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America and to wake up the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Uh, before we get started, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and that teach us. And uh, salutations to all the, the elect Akim that's pushing his word in truth, in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Right, man. Yeah, man. So we out here another week doing what uh, what we try to do to the best of our ability, man, which is to prophesy against America, man, against Babylon the Great, against you damn devils, you Edomites, man, okay, and against all you heathens, man, and against two-thirds of our people, man, and letting all these nations know that the Most High is coming, coming to send his son back, okay, which is at his right hand to bring down all the rulership and power upon the, upon the planet Earth and to set up his kingdom, man. Right. All right? The Mark of the Beast, which is the RFID chip, contrary to popular uh, belief, man, amongst the Israelite community, like ICPK, IUIC, man, that is the RFID chip, man, okay? Martial law is coming to America, man. Race riots is coming to America. Famine is coming to America, man. And it's already happening worldwide, man, all right? Every day you wake up, man, every day you wake up, every day you go to sleep, man, dozens upon dozens upon dozens of notifications, RT, Google, YouTube, what else, man? What other outlets out there, man? Got the current events, man. Uh, you got Rips. Rips News. Yeah. Uh, Facebook. Yeah. You got, uh, you got no Instagram. Pictures, no pictures. No pictures. Thank you. Thank you. Brothers. But um, alternative news media. Yeah, man. Ranging from uh, Newsweek. That guy, uh, uh, Frenchie. Um, you also have Basics, RT, ABC. You even got um, Jason 8. Yeah. That guy, Jason 8, man. The way he compiles all the, that news together, man. Giving you uh, uh, monthly news, man. It, it shows we live in these times, man. Okay. Uh, this is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 75, verse 5. Lift not up your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck. Verse 6. For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. Verse 7. But the most high is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. Right, man. Okay, so the Lord said to the wicked, man, to the foolish, he said, lift not up your horn on high, man. What is, what is that horn supposed to represent? Power and authority, man. Okay, don't exalt yourself because you're not the one, who, you're not the, the reason why you're in power today, man. The reason why America's in power, man, the reason why the EU and NATO is in power, man, and the reason why every nation and every empire that has ever reigned upon the planet Earth ever came into power is because the Lord put them in power, man. Right. Okay? And the Lord's the one who lifted them up, man, and the Lord's the one who's going to bring them back down, man. Right. All right? He's going to establish his kingdom, man, the kingdom of, of Yahweh Shai, man. And, and King David's going to rule under him and elect 144,000, man. Right. And the one-third, man, above all you other nations, man, like it was meant to be. Okay? So the Most High is the one who puts down and set up, sets up and says that the Lord is a judge, man. But it also says that uh, that the Lord has put uh, judgment into His uh, um, into the hand of His Son, man. All right. So when it comes time for Judgment Day, Yahweh Shai is going to come come back, and He's going to use His power and His chariots and the angels and the one third and whatever other means that He has in heaven and earth to put down all you fucking heathens, man. Right. It's going to be a bloody day, man. The day of the Lord is going to be a bloody day, man. It's not going to be kumbaya. He's not going to come back and pass out dandelions, man. He's going to come back and pass out judgment, man. That's right. All right? Hey, and the scripture tell us uh, judgment going to start with these people right here. And uh, newsflash, these people right here were the ones that was uh, pushing for him to go on that cross, man. That's right. So he got a bone to pick with y'all too, man. Yes. Right. That's true, man. Two-thirds got get, to gotta get it too, man. Two-thirds got to get it too, man, because because uh, y'all y'all the ones who's going to be uh, reigning under the under the, uh, the elect under the one uh, forty four under the the one third in the kingdom, man. So y'all got to get the judgment uh, now, man. Y'all got to get the biggest ass whooping now, man. That's so, right. The biggest ass whooping, man. Because you you niggas living it up, man. Y'all making money. Y'all driving nice cars. Y'all getting bad bitches. Okay. Y'all partying. Y'all drinking. Y'all living it up, man. E like even. Okay, but like back, let's say back in the day, man, when, when we was in, in the land of Israel, man, anytime we went off, the Lord jacked us up quick, man. All right, but our people ain't really, ain't really getting, you know, he ain't, they ain't really getting the ass whooping like they're supposed to get it now, man. That's right. They're not getting it as quickly as they need to get it, man. So when it comes, man, all right, 
Surely it shall come, it shall not tarry, man. When martial law comes, when famine comes, which is already happening in South America, okay, it's already happening in the Caribbean, man. It's already happening in different parts of the world, man. But when it comes to America, man, you niggas are gonna die by by the by the masses, man. That's right. By right. the millions, man. <laughs> and uh, like the scriptures say, just because judgment not, uh, uh, you know, roughly paraphrasing, just because they don't get judged quick, they're thinking that you know the Most High ain't really watching them. But that's him having you in derision, because what he's doing is letting you build up a, a case against yourself. That's right. You know? God, and after all the benefits that the Most High has given his right, people, right, right. Even, even in captivity, man, our people turning up, man. Our people can eat, they can drink, okay? They can go out and party, all right? They got they got cars, they got houses, clothes, yeah. They get, they get to have children, man, and just live it up in America, man, all right? And it's about, it's about the Lord doing all these things for our people, man. Our people still choose to be fucking wicked, man. Our people still choose to be homosexuals, man. Still choose to be to be lesbians, man. Right. Now they into this bestiality shit, man. Since when Jake was into bestiality, fool? Now you got the LGBT movement in Jamaica and Haiti. Since when? God. <laughs> Since when, man? Our people, our people in, into adultery more than they ever been now. They more into drugs more than they ever been now. More into uh, gang banging more than they ever been now, man. Okay. Our, pe our people are now. Our people are just co damn near completely faithless, man. They follow after the, the nigger woman, man, and the and and uh, the Black Lives Matter movement, man. That's right. Okay. And now, guess what? Inter you guys are lab are now labeled international terrorists, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, Vladimir Putin has labeled the Black Lives Matter movement a terrorist movement, man. And guess what? He's the commander in chief of one of those the most powerful armies on the face of the earth, man. Right. So when his troops come over to America, <laughs> get ready to have a, a big, nice, furry Russian bare foot uh, shoved up your ass, man. <laughs> <laughs> you had something? Oh, bring it out, man. It's a lot, brother. I'm trying to hit everything. Man. This is uh, uh, back at uh, Psalm 75 and uh, 8. For in in the hand of the Most High, there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is full of mixture, and He poureth out of the same. Right, man. The Lord said it that it says that in the right hand of the Lord is a cup, man, and the wine is red, man. It is full of mixture, man. Okay, so the Lord is passing that that, that cup is supposed to represent the judgment of the Lord, man. Okay, it's supposed to rep represent the slavery and everything that the Lord is going to bring upon the earth, man. That's right. All right, it's going it, that. Like, like, uh, for example, the reason why it's called uh, strong drink or wine is because when you drink a strong drink, when you drink a strong wine, it intoxicates you, it overwhelms you. You start throwing up, man. You can't take it, man. That's how the that's how the Lord's coming with His judgment, man. The Lord's coming with such a judgment upon these heathens and upon these other nations that they ain't gonna be able to handle it, man. All right. Take a picture of this. You could take a picture of the sign. Yeah. Um, but. It say, but the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. Right, man. The dregs thereof shall all the wicked of the earth uh, wring them out and drink them, man. Okay, so that's that's the backwash, man. Those last few seconds of slavery, man. Okay, all all, all the wicked of the earth shall shall uh, shall uh, shall drink them and wring them out, man. Okay, and who's the wicked, man? The wicked is the so-called white man, the Edomite, man. That's right, that's right. All right. They shall call them the border of wickedness and the people in whom the Lord hath indignation forever, man. That's right. Good. All right? Just in case you were wondering who the wicked is, man. Leave these niggas out. Oh, don't leave the... Yeah, con. You niggas, because y'all joint to the white man. Con. So y'all the wicked too, man. Con. Con, that's all, right. It say all the wicked, man. You know? But Esau is the chief house of wickedness. That's right. Border, with, like the brother said. Con. That's something? God. That's the book of Micah, chapter 1, verse 2. Hear, all ye people... Hearken, O earth, and all that that therein is, and let the Lord Yahweh be a witness against you, the Lord from his holy temple. Verse 3, For behold, the Lord cometh forth out of his place, and will come down and tread upon the high places of the earth. Verse 4, And the mountains shall be molten under him, and the valley shall be cleft as wax before the fire, and as the waters that are poured down a steep place. Con, man, the Lord's coming with a cat with a catastrophic judgment, man. The scriptures say the Lord shall come out of His place, man. All right, and the scriptures talk about how Yahweh shall shall descend from heaven with a shout, man. Okay, with the voice of an archangel, man. All right, and He's gonna come. He's gonna come and, and destroy all the high places of the earth, man. He's gonna tread them down, man. 
all right, all the mountains, all the power structures of the earth, man. That includes America, that includes Russia, China, Korea, Japan, the EU, NATO, all right, all these powerful nations, man, all these powerful uh, corporations on the planet Earth, man. Yeah, how is coming back to destroy all that shit, man? That's right. right? Okay. <laughs> the Lord, <laughs> the, yeah, they're man. lords, man. That, 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 it says that, uh, that the Lord shall uh, cleave out, cleave, uh, shall cleave rips in the earth, man. Okay, he's going to cleave out the earth, man. That's how much the, the earth is going to shake when Yahweh Shai comes back, man. That's right. Okay, you got, there's going to be new chasms, new valleys, new mountains, just like it was in the flood, man. When you read when you read the story of Noah's flood, man, you notice that the, that the mountains were a lot smaller, man. Okay, but when when uh, the, the springs of the deep uh, burst forth, man, that shifted the continent so much that now you got mountains as high as Everest, man. You got Mount Kil Kilimanjaro, man. You got the Atlas Mountains, man. Okay, that's that was all caused by the flood, man. All all those continents shifting and cracking into one another, man. That's that's how it's gonna be when the Lord come back, man. That's right. The Lord's gonna shape the earth. It's gonna be a whole fucking new landscape in this motherfucker, man. That's right. right. God. Nothing new under the sun, man. That's right. Go ahead, Art. Right. Verse 5. For the transgression of Jacob is all of this, and for the sins of the house of Israel. What is the transgression of Jacob? Is it not Samaria? And what are the high places of Judah? Are they not Jerusalem? Come on, man. All right, so that's happening for, the, for, uh, for one reason is for the transgressions of our people, man. Because our people are wicked as hell, man, worshiping every idol under the sun, as you can see here, man. Our people into Buddhism, Scientology, Hinduism. They into uh, they they into Chesareism, okay? They they're into Egyptology. They're into Haile Selassie. They're into uh, 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 Islam. Fucking Islam, man. Okay. <laughs> Our people into everything, man. <laughs> That's why the Lord's coming back with this judgment, man. All right, because our people are wicked as hell, man. They like worshiping idols and they like doing everything under the sun that's contrary to what the what the Most High commanded, man. All right, and we for that, man. We for our, we're for our people. Two thirds of our people getting their ass kicked by the Lord, man. That's right, right. Right. We can't wait to see it, man. Cause y'all need y'all need the ass whooping, then y'all gonna come back righteous, okay? And then we get to judge the nations together, man. That's we right. get to put foot in Esau ass together, man. That's right. All right, crack crack a fucking iron scepter over his fucking head together, man. That's right. Right. All right. For a thousand years straight, man. And then we gonna rule. We we gonna we're gonna be on top forever, man. That's right. All right. Never going off. Never going into slavery. All right, never having these heathens over us, eating GMOs and chemtrails, but you niggas don't seem to like that, man. Y'all don't want that on this side, man. All right, y'all don't seem to want that. Okay, so the Lord's gonna have to give you the judgment. Right. And like that's why the scriptures say they're gonna be shamed. Cause let's say like we got a, uh, me and you got a business proposition. You tell me to jump on board with you, and I'm like, nah, nah, I don't, don't want to fuck with it. But you know the shit gonna fall through. You know it's gonna, it's gonna happen. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, I, I decide not to jump on board with you. Then all of a sudden, that shit take off, and I'm like, damn. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, damn, you told me, bro. Right. You know, but, you know, that's why y'all going to be shamed in the kingdom, man. That's right. 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 That's right. You got more now? Yeah, just a little bit more. Uh, jumping down to seven. And all the graven images thereof shall be beaten to pieces, and all the hiders thereof shall be burned with the fire, and all the idols thereof will I lay desolate. For she gathered of the hire of a harlot, and they shall return to the hire of a harlot. Right. So that Christ uh, Redeemer statue in, in Brazil, man, okay, standing over there with his arms wide open, okay, <laughs> there ain't going to be no more of that when the Lord comes back, man. And what's funny is that that should get hit, hit by lightning all the time. All the <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> They just finished reconstructing. Well, with that statue. Yeah. Ah, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just finished using a finger. Yeah. With a lightning bolt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. So there ain't gonna be no more of that. Ain't gonna be no more cobblestone. Okay. Ain't gonna be no more mosque. Ain't gonna be no more uh, Christian churches, man. All right. Ain't gonna be no more damn uh, no no obelisk. All right. No more Egyptology when the Lord comes back, man. Ain't gonna be no more damn Hinduism statues and all that shit that our people like to worship, man. Okay. Most is gonna get rid of all that shit, man. You got something? Yeah. Go this is Isaiah uh, 24 and uh, 19. Mm -hmm. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean, dissolved. The earth is, mo is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and, and it shall fall and not rise again. Right, man. So like we've been going into thus far, man. When the Lord comes back, He's gonna shake the whole earth, man. Okay, just His very presence, like it, like it was uh, in uh, in uh, when, well, when we got out of Egypt, Mount Sinai, man. When the Lord descended upon the mountain, man, 
okay, and it was nothing but smoke, dark clouds, lightning, whirlwinds, tempest, man, all right? <coughs> the, the earth shook that day, man. The mountain melted, and you and you could still go back to that same mountain, and it's still crispy, man. Okay, still crispy, man. Everything, everything from the half part down is is regular, but the top looked like it done been fucked up by some damn volcanic eruption. But it's not a volcano, man. Oh, right. All right? right. So, so the same way the Lord gonna come back, he gonna come back with his thousands of chariots, man. He's gonna come back with his angels, man, and the whole earth is gonna shake, man. All right. Book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? Yeah, that's for you Christians, man. That's for you Baptists, you, you Catholics, man. All you that, that uh, all you hypocrites out there, all right, that, that don't serve the Lord, okay, that don't seek his face, that don't fear him, that don't keep his commandments, all right, you don't believe in his name, you don't believe in the, in the proper doctrine, man. Woe unto you, man. Okay, because you die, you desire something to your own detriment, man. Go ahead. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. The day of the Lord is cotton candy. Darkness, not light. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light, man. That's right. Hey, it doesn't get any plainer than that, man. It doesn't get any plainer than that, man. The Lord, the Lord, when the Lord comes back, okay, you gotta have nuclear missiles popping off everywhere, mushroom clouds, okay, blocking, blocking out the sun. All right, then you, and then on top of that, you gonna have the chariots. You gonna have the chariots, man, all over the world flying, man. They gonna, they gonna blot out the sun, man, and the moon, man. Okay, so that's gonna be a terrible day, man. It's gonna be a terrible day, man. Even the elect are gonna fear in that day, man. Go ahead. As if a man did flee from a lion. And a bear met him. As if a man did flee from the lion and a, and a bear met him, man. So in that day, man, the Lord's gonna come with his judgment. And if you try to escape one thing, nothing gonna get your ass, man. You try to escape the Russian troops, a chariot might zap your ass. Turn you into powder, man. You try to escape a chariot, you might get hit by a missile. Okay? You try to escape a missile, you run it and then you fall into a crack in the earth, man. Seriously, man. You try to you try to leave America on a boat. You know, to go to Haiti or some other country, man. Leviathan come out and, chew, and chop your shit, man. It's right. It's, it's like, <laughs> that's what's coming, kid. See, we don't even really expound on that a lot, but that Leviathan and Bohemian, man. Yeah. Y'all, hey, man. And these apparitions. Oh, oh yeah. you know? We forget, we forget about that what, even more. What the yeah. scriptures say, give me any plague but the plague of the mind? Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah, man. Niggas don't know what's coming, man. That's right. Yeah, super volcanoes. Oh yeah, ready to blow. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, there's a super volcano here in the United States, man, in the Midwest. Yeah, Yosemite. Yeah, Yosemite. Yeah, Yosemite. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where you go. Some of them underwater. You might call yourself trying to flee to the Caribbean or some shit like that. It might be a super volcano over there in the water, just waiting to blow. Hey, it happened uh, at a place called Pompeii in Rome, ancient Rome. Yeah. Nothing new on this side. It's gonna happen again. Right, that's right. <laughs> Hey, the Lord shakes the earth. That's going to activate all those volcanoes. Right. It's going to activate it. That day of the, 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 day of the Lord is going to be the worst times of all, as the scriptures say. And the brother brought out weeks ago, like, you talking about the worst times of all. The Lord done flooded the whole earth, folks. So it's going to be worse than that. You done had people eat their own babies before. You done had people commit mass suicide. You done had Israelites commit mass suicide on the um, Masada. When they was um, besieged by the Romans, you know, had on um, the bubonic plague and so forth and so on. But these times that are coming, people, people are going to be tormented and tortured like never before. That's right. Especially the people on the sign because you forsake the um, word of the Lord. Yeah. You forsake his signs. You, for, you um, forsake his prophecies. He told you when you see earthquakes in diverse places, when you see nations going um, again against nation, rumors of war, and when you see the chip. So those things are happening, you people still forsake the Lord. That's why the Lord is justified in what he's about to do and bringing down the great judgment upon all you wicked. That's right. That's right, man. It's going to be it's gonna be phenomenal in that day, man. It's going to be phenomenal, man. That's going to be something to talk about. <laughs> and we rooting for it. You know why? Because whether you root for it or not, it's going to happen. Exactly. It's the most highest judgment, man. But we understand why it's happening. Why? Because 
you know, you need to get your ass whooped sometimes, man. But to correct you. So that's what the most high gonna do. He's gonna correct you for a lifetime, for uh, 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 eternity of wickedness that our people been committing, man. He's gonna let it build up on you and beat your ass. What, like your mama say, I'm gonna beat your ass for old and new. This is uh, uh, Amos 5 and 19. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Verse 20. Shall not the day of Yahweh Shem Shai be darkness and not light? Right, man. So what the fuck you Christians talking about, man? That's right. What the hell y'all talking about, man? I thought, the, I, thought the, I thought the Lord loved everybody, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Even very dark and no brightness in it. Right, I thought the Lord was all love. I thought the Lord was all love, man. See, this is this is why, this is why you, when you Christians come up here, y'all can't fucking deal, man. Because if you knew the scriptures, you would know that Daniel chapter 9, the Lord said that he loved those that, uh, that keep his commandments, man. All right? And in the uh, 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 New Testament, same, same it thing. say, uh, if he say that he know the Most High and keep not his commandments, he's a liar and the truth ain't in him. Right. 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 You got something on? Yeah, get this. This is Isaiah chapter 3, verse 8. For Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord to provoke the eyes of his glory. The show of their countenance do, does witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul, but they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Con, man. All right. So, so our, our people want to be uh, faggots, man. They want to be lesbians, man. All right. They hide it not. Okay. They proud about it. Gay pride, curiosity, whatever the fuck. All right. That's, that's why the Lord's going to fuck you up, man. Because you speak e evil against the Lord. It's that simple, man. It's that simple, man. Okay? You go up against the Lord, the Lord's going to be against you, man. That's right. And that's why people are in the fucked up position they are, they're in, man. Our people should be c concerned about turning back to the scriptures, man. Coming together against the laws of the Most High, okay? Under the faith of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, man. But they worried about being homosexuals. They weren't, they weren't about uh, fitting in in the society, man. Every new trend, man, every every new every new doctrine that's pushed out by the white man and by these heathens, man, that's what they want to follow, man. Okay, so that's why the Lord's fucking them up like he is, man. 